What is up YouTube? Today we are going to be Today we are going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be taking this 22 gauge Monopti core needle biopsy and biopsying ginger. That's right, ginger. Why ginger? I have no idea. That just happens to be what I have in my kitchen. So it could have been a potato, but I don't have any potatoes. But so ginger it is. So why don't we go ahead and take a little sample of the ginger. Let's go. Alright, so today we're going to biopsy this ginger right here. We're going to be using a 18 gauge, 16 centimeter Monopti biopsy, core needle biopsy, as you can see. It takes a two centimeter sample right there, two centimeter sample. We're going to be inserting it through a 17 gauge, 13.5 centimeter coaxial needle with the inner stylet. So, let's put this back in and we're going to biopsy the ginger. So we're gonna do a long wise here. Just gonna get that in parallel so we can take a nice sample. We're going to remove the inner stylet. Insert our already primed biopsy needle. Take the sample. Remove the biopsy needle. Replace the inner stylet to prevent bleeding. And we'll see what kind of sample we have. As you can see, we have a nice core sample of the ginger. And that is the core sample of the ginger. All right, this is how much we take of a normal sample that we do. It's a two centimeter core sample. That's that. After the procedure, what we would do is Remove the inner needle, apply pressure, or put in a blood patch, or use gel foam pledgets to prevent bleeding. And that's that. All right guys, so that concludes this edition of Biopsying Ginger. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you liked what you saw, leave a comment below and smash that like and subscribe button turn on post notifications, do all of it. Just stay on my channel all day long, I don't care. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them below. And yeah, that's all I got. So until then, I will see you on the next video.